Okay everybody, I'm going to give a quick update on the welding cart. I have been doing a couple of changes here. I had to uh, take and take all these rails out. I had them here on this outside rail. And I had to actually cut these out, left this one here. Cut these out because I forgot that I was going to have a compartment in here, all right, for all the cords off the welding machines and whatnot and so on and so forth into the bottle so they would be contained um gonna put panels on here probably gonna have plugs exposed so i can actually just plug an extension into the machine machine will be hard mounted on the inside plug the extension into it got it going pull it off coil it up put it in a drawer or on a hook anyway have this placed in here that's the drawer guides have all the holes drilled. I don't know if you can see those or not. Have all the holes drilled for putting the guide rails on for both sides. We got all that in. The casters are on. Finally painted. On. Full swivel. Locking. Ready to go. This thing is getting heavy. I'm afraid once I get it off the cart, it's not ever going to leave the floor again. So I'm trying to get everything done that I can. Uh, while it's on the table, once I get to the point that I can remove it, on the floor it goes, it's never coming back up on the table again. So, uh, all I'll have to do at that point after here is put the top panel on, put some reinforcements here for the top, did this divider for that cord compartment. There's going to be a panel inside here as well, all the way across. To help keep the cords from falling in here and into the drawers that way i don't have to get interference there panel on the outside which we already have cut for that i'll have to get the additional panel for this when i go back and get the material for the drawers but that's the update on that thought i'd give you guys a quick run through on that let you see it for what it's worth and there we go Appreciate it, everybody. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, <laughs> just in case you might have been wondering out there how I was going to get that off of the welding table, I wondered the same thing myself. Thought, hmm, need to get a strong neighbor to help, which I have, not a problem. Um, get some sort of physical help. Thought about it myself. I've had it sitting in my garage use it all the time for about 1250 pounds my motorcycle lift arrow we're hydraulic get it loaded under the lift let her back down down we come works like a charm Man, look at that. And there we go. Okay, I wanted to give you a little bit closer view of the welding table thus far. If you'll notice, I actually did get this outside panel on. Tacked that on this morning. Got the rail guys and everything, that's all in place. Getting the next sheet tomorrow morning that goes in here against all of this. And we'll tack that from the back side. Tack it on the zip welded on the ends. And at the bottom as far as I can reach and then down across the bottom inside. Once that's done, we'll put the top on and uh, we'll be able to install the drawer guides. 
after I throw a light coat of paint to cover up the bare metal so I don't ever have any rusting issues on all this in this future. But that's so far where we're at. There you go. There we go, knocking it all down so I can have that top nice and flush and flat and tack that booger on and we're good to go. I use a little doony denatured alcohol, wipe things down, clean them up, and then this is what I'm using to paint the welding cart. Get this all cleaned up. Let it air dry for a bit. Then we can throw a quick cover coat just to keep the rust at bay. I'm not trying to paint the whole interior to a finish. Just want to make sure that it's protected from the elements. Okay, just a quick little cover coat on the outer areas that was covered up or I needed to cover up that were bare metal. Still not completely finished on that part. I'll go back and touch some things up, but uh, just to show you, that's the majority of it. I'm saving this because I got a weld on it yet. These are kind of parameter, if you will. Just a quick coat. No more welding going on on that side for right now until I put handles on the outside of this front, but I'll deal with that later. And that's sort of the update on the cart to this point. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for stopping in.